So this is my first video about the features of the grater. First thing you have, and you've got a pendulum in the front, two pendulum in the back, and you've got the battery housing on the first stage, with the, there's a stage that goes there, underneath is all the ESCs. You've got six small ESCs for all the functions, plus one 1060 for the driving. There's I put the an RSC switch for the lights, and the other one is a servo, so you don't need any any ESC for this one. So that left us with the one uh, spot available on a 10 channel receiver. To turn it on, first thing you have to do is turn on the the um, this one here. All the switch up, one switch down and then go middle, middle because this is the boom and this is the blade slider if you leave it up it's gonna put the, the, the slide on, on the way out and the boom is gonna turn with no reason and then switch on the grater and it's good to go so get the light get the boom you got the blade turning. You got the blade left and right. This one you have to make be careful to clean up this little part often because sometimes sometimes the, the, the sand goes inside and you will hear the actuator work very much. And this is turned left and right, up and down. And this is the blade going, it's mixed like a, a track vehicle. So you got 1% slave to channel 2 and minus 1%, 100% slave to channel 1, 1 and channel 1 and 2. And here I have, I have this one here and this one here, the boom light. Blade and this one here. It's very, very accurate. That's the fun of it. If you use this one on the top right for your blade turning with this one here and this one here, it's very easy to use uh, when you work with it. As you can see, I have put some a few weight in behind the wings and on the front. It doesn't change much, but it helps a bit. Uh, not losing uh, traction when you push stuff and the, the ground is hard. Under the that, uh, it's been seven days that I'm playing with it. The only thing that has failed so far is the little soldiering here that I, the, the, in the motor for the turning. I resoldered it and I put a tie wrap here. So now the wires doesn't pull on the soldiering. Other than that, nothing has failed so far. I have put the true two LiPo 500, 5200, a true uh, to empty them up and nothing failed. It's very fun to play with. So if you have any questions, just let me know in the, in the page. Just reach me out in your Facebook. And if you want to build it, just download the, the the file, it's very fun to build, it's very fun to play with. Have a good day.